Solar eclipse is just days away, and Connecticut can expect clear skies and to see around 90% totality. Therefore, doctors are warning eye protection is an absolute must. They say it's Brittany Schaefer has more on the options residents have. Something very interesting is happening, and so people want to look at it. Millions of eyes will be staring at the sky Monday to see the rare cosmic event, but doctors warn eclipse excitement comes with danger. Partial or complete blindness, depending on how intense the beams are and how long you're looking at it. Dr. Vicente Diaz says looking at the sun, even if it's partially blocked by the moon, can damage your retina, which is the layer of cells in the back of the eye that are sensitive to light and a key part of vision. He says seconds can lead to permanent damage. If you blast the retina with the power, the full power of the sun, that, then you could really damage the cells there. Diaz says he and his family are planning to watch with proper eye protection these ISO certified eclipse glasses. Regular sunglasses, even polarized, do not offer enough protection. He also adds viewing through a camera lens or telescope can heighten risks. The chief of ophthalmology at Yale Health and Bridgeport Hospital says there will likely be an increase in eye injuries next week. Inevitably, as much as we try to get the word out, there's going to be some people that just can't resist temptation, and those people might need to see an ophthalmologist. The demand for eclipse glasses are high. Optometry offices in the area tell us they've given out hundreds and are still receiving hundreds of phone calls. Stores like Walmart, Target, CVS, and Lowe's have been selling the glasses. People out in New Haven today say they've been looking. I think you're taking an hour or two to go look at the eclipse and picking up eclipse glasses Sunday night. We're going to go to like a roof of a parking garage um, and obviously wear your eclipse goggles. So one of my friends ordered a big pack of them. I already don't have very good vision, so I want to kind of protect and conserve what I have. Everywhere we went today was sold out. This solar eclipse in Connecticut will be around 90% totality. So to give you an idea of just how rare this is, Connecticut won't see a total solar eclipse until 2079. In New Haven, I'm Brittany Schaefer, News 8.